Hello, this is Lance Johns. I want to talk about Jorge Gomez. He was killed by the Las Vegas Metro Police. Um, his family seek his answers after he was killed amid protests. Um, okay, that there was a protest and somebody named Carol. Duke shot a police officers during a demonstration in downtown Las Vegas June 1st. She grabbed a protest sign in one hand and a miniature Ern carried Thomas in Mac in reactions and other um Mac Mac in Mac in in Erie was killed by Metro Police more than four years ago, turned Luke into a recruit. She panics when she's out. When she count police and people, she's all easy around them. I heard she said, but George Floyd, uh, dealt by police in Minnesota, and subsequent protests inspired Luke to hit the streets and protest for time to demand justice for his son as well. That's where Luke probably wearing a shirt and her son's photo on it, had a brief encounter with, with Jorge uh, Gomez. Excuse me. Um, Luke had joined a a a choir of chance director officer station on Fremont Street. She waved the urn at them. A stranger walked up to her, hugged her momentarily, soon her telling her, I'm sorry for about your loss, tell your son's story. She remembered Gomez saying which were among, among his last words, a son photo catch a photo of them embracing. Um, Gomez, Gomez was killed by police moments later after the protest turned unruly. It was one or uh, two separate shooters related to the protest at night. The other left uh, officer, Shay Michelonis, on life support. And Gomez was 25 years old. The four Metro officers who opened fire on Gomez saw him as a threat to, to their lives. A suspect said that they, they, they saw a gun pointed at them, according to police. Her family saw him as a tender man who was passionate about his belief and who walked up to a green woman to alleviate her pain. Um, said Erica Flores, the attorney Gomez, who also travels the passion about dog rescues, music, fishing, and nature. Gomez's family wants answers. Transparent and justice if the shooting was Gomez was preventable. Flores said, police said that after they dispersed the crowds in downtown with tear gas and pepper gas, Gomez, the person officer said, Lloyd, the judge, federal courthouse officers who had seen protests with bats, confused Gomez's long gun that was swung around his shoulder with one uh, police said. Fair for that said one officer shot Gomez with a low lethal shotgun round, caused him to run. They said four officers responded to McCollum and shooting through my south encountered a running Gomez. They they got the barrel open fire and they said he lifted his gun at them since they since the officer w wasn't one regular patrol officer, they weren't required to carry body cameras, police said. Four days later, they, they continued to set for additional video footage that declared that Gomez had been increasingly regular. None of his family had expressed concern over his recent behavior. But Flores said the contact between investors, investigators, and the family had been minimal. Search warrants have not been served at their home, leaving Flores. Per Pillar X said how they reached the conclusion that he was re regularized. Gomez's family was peppered with anti-Donald Trump conspiracies. He vaguely spoke of a revolution. It wasn't clear if there was the only intelligent investigator had reviewed. Furthermore, Gomez hadn't sent off any loans at home that he was a danger himself and anybody else. So I said, like the Reds' family was star second minute supporter. They were told about Gomez attending programs where officers had responded to attacks with sugar gas, non lethal projectiles, he added. Gomez grew up shooting guns at the range with his family. The idea that they expect the law and order officers to push the floor it said some members of the main family had taught the U.S. Army and federal government. He had the Gomez family does not want to make any assumptions, but they question the chain of events that led to a tragedy. Floyd said, We simply want, want, want to know the truth. Floyd noted that while police said Gomez had approached them at the courthouse at Greenleaf via across the street, 
Ocho Gomez on the public sidewalk before officers seen rushing him. Ocho Gomez running running after he was shot by five bean bag bags. Police had ordered the area dispersed by Floyd still one while police didn't employ a de escalation tailing instead. Um Citing the video, he said, even if the fear and moments seeing someone reactive and rational, they obviously train, train should have allowed for the escalation. If, if there's a human being just walking, he has a right to be on pillow sidewalk. There wasn't a need for someone who just who was just walking. The live rounds that brought Gomez down roughly seconds after he took off running off, off spring on Law Bank Boulevard and Bridge Avenue. The community deserves to know, the family deserves to know, everybody is know is what happened th- those couple of seconds after. Floyd said it doesn't follow the narrative that he was trying to do harm, even if they started shooting beanbags at him. His main reaction was not trying to engage him back. Floyd said his main action was to run. Floyd wanted officers knowing know that officers had been shot most early, may have been on, on the edge. We understand how incredibly t- terrifying and emotional it must have been for people who risked their lives there. They learned that one of their own had been shot. Floyd said, upon making contact and seeing someone exercising their second amendment rights, we think that they were terrified and or very concerned. Floyd also questioned how organized police department, which would tackle and methodological and dispersing protest crowds over that weekend, failed to have officers with body cameras spread throughout the demonstrated areas. On Sunday evening, punished Gus swung floor pedals on an impromptu memorial building by the Gomez family on a tree at Lorenzi Park when the police really demonstration was taking place. The uh, yellow poster displayed a picture of Gomez in a serious post. His family, who had declined to be interviewed, this is the speech list of our teens that attached flowers to trees. And a phone interview Sunday, Oha Vincent with the Ohio or Oja, I think it's Oja, Vincent with, with the Astros Metal Outlet uh, for uh, tra- trajectory project spoke about slow death. The police uh, killing someone, then they killed the family slowly, said the metaphor. Because of the stress, anxiety, then those who chose to fight, he said. Flores said the Gomez family focused on grieving and getting through account for what happened. They prayed for the officer McLeanis and the four officer who shot their loved one. Vincent said, or they speech to families and witnesses of police shoes because most of the stories available are those found in official narrative from authorities with option on showcase officers as, as heroes. The only person who sent Gomez raised his gun, Vincent said, the police officer, someone in uniform, families that side share that story, but do not do so in public. Uh, in public, feel sorry for them. Vincent said, the public has the power to be part of change, but you. You too much follow the family at the, at the front line as a as a pair of protests over the weekend. Michael Yukovsky carried a white just for Jorge Gomez's son. Like Gomez, Yukovsky said he brought a firearm to the protest. He said, although his little gun was in the case swinging around the show, he knew he would be targeted from a special look from officers. Though he did not, uh, he did not enact Gomez. He said he saw him throughout the night, excited the first man, second man rights peacefully. He's concerned since the shooting wasn't caught on wasn't caught on video that Gomez is is being vilified online that death wasn't being talked about enough. Gomez was not a threat. He was not there to incite violence. Yuko Yukovsky said, I will not stop, I will not be silent. His voice will not be silent, his death will not be unheard. Look the woman who Gomez hugged the night of his death is tormented through truth out their son that made me feel Gomez for anger that led to his death. Although she said she wants justice for, for police and then to be held accountable, she does not want her son's death to be catalyst for to to more tragedy. It's not right for anybody to be shot and killed, she said. Emmett tears be to a preacher protest Friday. The Gomez family has set up a website for Jorge Gomez. Seems to obtain witness statements, video footage, and donation to cover his funeral costs. Well, that's terrible that somebody else had to die. Pray for Gomez's family. Pray for Michelonius and his family. Um, pray for uh, George Floyd's family. But... Uh, Violence is not the answer. Pr- protest is good, but just don't become violent. Your protest, looting, or 
or riding. But hopefully, you know, hopefully the police, you know, if they if they killed him for no reason, they will, you know, get what they deserve. But um, and, and hopefully the Gomez can get the donation for the, uh, his funeral. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment below. Thanks for listening. Be sanitary, be clean. Uh, wash your distance. Wear a mask if you have to. Go to the hospital if you have to go. Stay home if you're sick. But thanks for listening and have a good night. Again, this is Lance Johns. Thanks so much. Bye.